Hi there, today I want to tell you about an issue in Eclipse that occurs when you are trying to start up your application. First of all, I want to say that I have faced with this problem firstly in the latest version of Eclipse, at the moment this version for the 2021. In the previous versions, works fine. The problem contains the next description, page load failed with error, the resource couldn't be loaded because the app transport security policy requires the use of a secure connection. Ok, what we have to do? Uh, we have to go into the directory of our Eclipse and find the info.list file. You can open this file via any text editor that you prefer. For example, I will use uh, a sublime text, but you can use a text editor, a location, whatever you want. So let's do it. I'm opening my finder. The next step, I go to the applications and there is my Eclipse. I'm clicking on show package contents button and in the contents directory, uh, there is my info.list file. I'm opening it with a sublime text, as I have said earlier. Okay, and the next step, we have to copy a fragment of code that I will pin in the comments under this video and insert this fragment of code into our info.list file. Uh, so let's do it. I'm copying uh, this fragment of code of code and I'm inserting it into my info.list file. So you have save changes in this file and after that you might be able to start up your application without any problems uh, so let's check it out and i'm opening my eclipse uh, there is my one of my web applications it's called simpler mm, and let's start up it uh, i prefer do it while via terminal uh, so as a first step i have to copy the path to the root directory of my project uh, so let's do it uh, documents programming eclipse e workspace okay simpler v2 copy simpler v2 as path name um okay in the terminal, I'm typing the next command uh, cd and I'm passing a pass to my project. Okay, uh, the next step I'm typing the next, the next command dot slash mv and w spring boot run. Okay, uh, the application is starting up. Super, all, all works fine. Uh, we can see uh, this line started simply with two application in 6 and 559 uh, seconds. It means that all works fine. Mm, and let's do some breakfast to my application. I prefer do it uh, via Postman. So let's check it out if my application uh, works properly or not. So I'm entering the next um, request localhost 8080 slash demo slash um, Let's add a new user to my database, for example. Add, and now I have uh, I have to add some properties with key, with key name, with a key name. Uh, well, it can be, for example, John, um, Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. I'm sorry, Thomas, and uh, Thomas. Mail will be, um, for example, Thomas123 gmail.com. Okay, I'm clicking on the send button. Oh, 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 I have to use a post method, a post HTTP method. 
Okay, works fine. Uh, the user is saved in my database, and now we can check it out and get all the users from my database. Um, therefore, I use a get HTTP method and enter, I'm entering the next request demo slash uh, get all get all and now i will get all the users okay all looks fine there is our user with a name thomas and email is thomas123 gmail.com and the id is 4 uh, so I hope that I helped you in solving this problem. Um, also, I want to say that I'm sorry for the mistakes in my English. Uh, I every day try to enhance my English skills. And also, I have a profile in the Instagram uh, where I post different posts about web development on Java and they are all in English. Uh, the link for this profile is in the description for this video. Uh, so I think it's enough for today. Uh, take care and always follow your goals.